it's a big pike for sure. Following it. Oh, there he bit. Oh yeah, it's a big pike. Oh no, it's a giant walleye. Oh, it's a giant walleye. Oh, and a big swim bait. Well, we are back out for our third and final morning here up on Rainy Lake. Again, can't say thanks enough to Matt and Alyssa out at Sunset Country Outfitters. Please go and check them out. Um, check them out on their socials, check them out on their website. They have so many different packages. Uh, there's a group here right now doing the all-inclusive package, which is meals and guided fishing every day, and they've just been crushing fish. So um, highly recommend looking into that. They can do big groups. Um, there's three cabins on the island here, and it is such a sweet place. And every year we're up here, I just can't wait to get back. Today we're gonna back out chasing some big walleyes. We're gonna be doing some kind of a similar program. We're gonna be traveling around some of this mid-lake structure. You know, again, we're still targeting kind of that 15 to 25 foot range. So we're gonna start roaming around, trying to pick off some of these bigger single fish roaming out in some of these mid-lake structure areas. There you can see kind of a pair there. Not in big groups. They look a little bit bigger. Be throwing a few different things today. Um, this is the BT Smeltinator jig with an eye candy plastic on it. I will be doing the jig and wrap like you saw in the last one. And I will also have a big paddle tail on just in case I see some bigger fish or maybe some pike that I want to cast on with that. Go. First one of the day does not feel big. I think we have the right color. Well, that's a not bad. About, guess would be low 20s. Finally got one on the board here though. Had to get it straight underneath the boat for that one. Not too bad. 24 and a half. There we go. Decent little start to the morning. We uh, have been seeing a few, casting on a few, but we have uh, not been getting a ton to bite so far. I do have to say one more time how much I have loved this new rain suit by Norfin. This is the Rebel Pro and it's a lightly insulated suit. So these mornings where it's a little bit chilly, a little bit windy, it is such a nice suit to have. So I'll put that in the description below as well if you're interested in checking that out. There it is. There it is. Can't quite tell how big it is yet. Seems decent. Uh, not a stud by any means. Oh. You can tell on the live scope they didn't look quite as big. 22 and a half. Solid 22 and a half. Cast a big swim bait over there. See what happens, 40 feet. There it is, that's the same pike, I think. I think that's that same fish. If I get my jigging rat back here, that would be hilarious. I think everything's recording. Oh, it is, it's a big pike. <laughs> it's a big pike, fine, I got this one to go. This thing has my jigging rat. Ooh. This thing has my jigging rat in its mouth, I am going to laugh. Saw that thing sitting on that rock still. <laughs> you bet. Like I said, that was a uh, fairly certain that was the same pike that bit my jig and wrap. You bet. Just a stud. Whew. It's definitely not 40 plus, but it is upper 30s. There's this rock out there. I'm gonna get this off before I tell the story here. 37 inches. Oh, 37 inch pike. Man, you know they are here and there's a lot bigger than this, but this 
is a fun fish. I was hoping I'd run into these. That's why I had that big swim bait tied on. Here, we're gonna get this one back. Oh. There she goes. Ah, oh, sweet. So like I was saying, I had that big swim bait tied on just in case, because I know there's some of these big pike that cruise around these reefs here. And we, I've seen a few cast at them. Liz caught a good one the other day. And so I've had that thing tied on. I've got him to chase, haven't got him to bit, haven't come to bite. And like I said, I cast it out at that one and it's gotta be the same fish. I didn't see my jig and wrap in its mouth, but something snapped me off right away. And I was still seeing that fish kind of sitting on top of that rock. And I couldn't tell if it was just a big fish or if it was a rock sitting on top of there. So before I threw out that jig and wrap again, I figured I'd toss out that big swim bait. And sure enough, you saw the thing turn around and just whack it. Was hoping it was gonna get my jig and wrap back, but um, so fun being able to target some of these bigger fish like this and having a bigger pike like that is such a fun bonus out here. I mean, it is not uncommon to catch 35, 36, 37, up to 40, 42, 44 inch pike. Um, there is some giant pike out here and it's a lot of fun so you can catch them in a lot of the same areas. No big ones yet for the walleyes, but we're gonna keep grinding. There we go. Does not feel big. Oh, there's a big pike. Cut this little walleye. Had a big pike come up and hit it. Oh, and he let go. I don't know if I have either now. Oh, I don't have it on, didn't have my chest cam rolling in time either. <laughs> Cut this little walleye, was reeling up. Sure enough, this big pike comes up and crushes it. I don't think it was like 40, but it might've been in that mid thirties range. I said I was going to the next spot and as I was leaving, marked a ton more fish. So I figured I'd toss on, some of them look pretty big. Figured I'd toss on them here and see what we find. There we go, hit it on the drop. There's a few around there, so I actually wasn't sure. We'll see what it is for size. Seems like a decent fish too. I wasn't sure what they were gonna be for size because there was kind of a few. And what I've been seeing is those bigger groups. But you can see they were a little more narrow or they weren't quite so grouped up and high. They were a little bit more spread out. Decent fish. Decent fish. Sweet. Glad I uh, decided to turn back around. You know, sometimes you make those calls and you regret it because you feel like you're just wasting time, but sometimes it is worth it. Again, not, uh, not the big, big ones we're looking for. Pop him on the bump board quick. We got another 25 incher. Another 25 inch beauty when the average is in that mid 20s. And uh, man, that is a fun, fun fishery. Let this guy go. Woo! He was ready. We'll throw a few more casts around here. See what we find. There's one hanging tight here too. Just keep ripping it as I get close to the boat. Maybe even get right underneath for a second. There we go. Oh, you can see that one. He came through and crushed it. <laughs> that was fun. You can see how they hit it. Oh, another decent fish, I think. Oh, don't get squirrely on me. Oh, you can see how that one hit it right underneath. Oh, that was sweet. Be a good one. Fighting like a good one so far. Oh yeah, that's a solid fish. Biggest of the day though, I'd say for sure. Oh, don't get popped off. One thing I found, is it seems like you've got to keep some pretty good pressure on these guys. There we go. <laughs> Biggest of the day. You can see that in the live scope. Just darted through and crushed it. Oh, there we go. We got him off. Ooh, he's feisty. There we go. That is going to be the biggest of the day, I think. Put it on the bump board quick. We got 27 inches. You bet. 27 inches. Another stud fish. 
we can get that 28, 29, 30, I will be very, very happy. There she goes. Sweet. I might end up throwing a few more casts. You can see these fish. This is again acting a little bit different. We're seeing more fish. You know, we were seeing a lot of mid-lake structure the last couple days up on top. And now yesterday, just at the last spot, saw them off the edge of that on this little bit of a flat. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. I was just driving off, drove, drove off the brake line. I think I saved it as a screenshot here. I'll show you that. And as I, you can see, as I was going off on this little bit of flat, there's some rocks out here. You could see these fish kind of stacked up. So hopefully we can pull a few more out of here because yeah, there's been some good ones and even lost one or two more. So fish around, a little bit bitey. Um, I'm actually getting a little warm now that that wind's dying down a little bit. So I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off, uh, take the bibs off and we're gonna be back rolling. All right, saw a few more fish. Couldn't get them to go. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one here. Thought these were maybe suckers, but those are sitting up a little bit higher. Makes me think they have a chance of being walleyes. Yep. Yep. Decent fish too, I think. You bet. Oh. Ooh. That's a good run. Better turn this guy on. This feels solid. He's dogging me at least. He is dogging me. Good one. That's a good one. Come on. Oh, I'm a yard sale right now. Got him in. Not as big as I was thinking. He was dogging me. Whew. You know I'm out of shape when I'm winded after reeling in a walleye. Oof -da. There we go. <laughs> you bet another thick walleye. It's like I said, I think he's deceiving because he's so thick. Another on that 27 inch mark. Another 27 inch or this one's just thick. You can see those shoulders on that thing. Just so pretty. There, see, there we go. Woo. There she goes, back down to the depths. Well, sweet. This spot's actually a little bit different. This is a very, very small hump. And this one is surrounded by deep water. It just comes up and it is super small. You know, probably about five times my boat size. And just comes up to about 17 feet here. And I saw some fish on top. They seemed like they were a little more like suckers. And then I saw one group off to the side that was a little higher in the water column. And sure enough, we got one of those to go. Actually, I'm gonna take a pause quick. I'm gonna go pick up Liz, get her in the boat, um, hopefully target a few more walleyes uh, before we have to head out for the day. Hooked up. Hooked up. Well, Liz hopped in the boat and got on board first. The nice little walleye. Let that one go. That one was on the Smeltnator jig head with a Northland Eye Candy plastic, seven foot medium light Rosemore Outdoor Gear rod with the new um, PC Bun Carbon Prism. This one is the teal one. They also have a purple one. Super sweet reels. They are also incredibly light and incredibly smooth. <laughs> Jeez, that one hit it hard on the drop. You wanna come grab the net? This one almost feels pikey. I oh, don't know, I think it's a good walleye. Oh yeah, it's a decent walleye. There you go. You bet. You bet. Man, like I said, I just can't get over how nice most of these fish are in this lake. What do we got here? 20. 26 and a half. Another beauty coming in at 26 and a half. We're a little dark there. Bring it closer so it lightens up. There we go. Like I said, another beauty, 26 and a half. And we still have some more fish down there. Get a release shot on this guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep. 
Not the prettiest release, but there we go. Another littler one, but fun none the last. I didn't have my <laughs> chest gal on. I always forget that. Well, catching a few here once Liss and Willow joined us. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be out. Probably not too long, but see if we can't get one more good one. Well, it's a big pike for sure. Following it. Oh, three bit. Is everything recording? That one is, yep, they are. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a big bike. Oh no, it's a giant walleye. Oh, it's a giant walleye. Oh, this is a 30. This is a 30, get in here. Get in here. Oh, this is a 30. Oh, it's gotta be. Oh, on a big swim bait. Nope, it's not. It's not a 30. Oh, I thought that was a 30 for sure. It is big. What do we got? Oh, it's long. We have 28 and a half. 28 and a half great fish to end the trip on here oh my goodness just crushed the swim bait so much fun let this one go right away oh man sweet fish oh. <laughs> sweet well, like I said, we're gonna wrap it up on that big one. Uh, just a super awesome fish. You might be able to hear the thunder. We got a storm rolling in, so that is kind of our sign to head her on in. Fun way to end the trip, nonetheless. Um, a bunch of quality fish, nothing crazy for action, but really grinding out for those big bites, and it definitely paid off. You know, we caught a bunch of fish between that 25 to 29 inches. That is the vast majority of the fish that we caught. A big pike, a couple big pike, and uh, yeah. Just a super fun time up here. I can't say enough about Sunset Country Outfitters. Matt and Alyssa just run an awesome show up here. So big shout out to them. Make sure to go and check their website in the description below. Check out all the options. Thunder's getting louder. We're gonna head out. Such a fun little trip, little vacation up here. And uh, again, can't wait to get back. Who knows, I might try to sneak up one more time before the end of the year, but we will see what happens. As always, appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.